This is big uh, breaking inputs that Times Now has accessed. Black money report has been given to standing committee. Times Now has accessed the details of the report. The standing committee on finance that has now the black that has the black money report and in its second report in parliament on uh, in 2009 there were certain observations which were made and now Hina Gambhir my colleague is with me Hina what are the details you know, now the details that Times Now has accessed are actually the details of three reports on black money. The, remember, there were three different institutions which were asked by the then UPA government in uh, you know 2008 and 9 to conduct studies as far as the black money in India is concerned. Now, these three institutions, in fact, we are being told, had submitted their reports uh, into December 2013, July 2014 and August 2014. So, by August 2014, 14, the government had all the details as far as the amount of black money that's there in the country and what is the uh, unaccounted wealth that perhaps Indians have had uh, since uh, 1990 and till about 2008. That was the time period that these institutions considered for studying the amount of unaccounted wealth in the country and the black money that is sent out of the country. Now, the findings are quite interesting, Pranesh, and then the conclusion that I'm going to talk about. Firstly, the findings. One of the institution which is NIPFP studied the data from 1997 till about 2009 and it found that the total uh, financial outflow or illicit financial outflow or black money that has gone from India to outside from 97 to 2009 was in the range of 0.2 to 74.4%. Then the another institution was uh, NCAER, which found that you know black money worth uh, 384 billion dollars to 494 billion dollars went out from uh, 1980 to 2010. That was the amount of unaccounted wealth. And then the third institution was NIFM, which actually showed that the illicit money that has gone out of the country was around 10 percent of the total unaccounted wealth that people had in India. To put things in perspective, this simply showed the three reports showed the government of the day which took that big decision of demonetization in uh, November 2016 uh, the reports showed that how most of the unaccounted wealth or rather black money is actually within the country not much has really gone out of the country that was the uh, you know a broad uh, idea that was given after these uh, particular reports were really submitted then these reports were sent to the parliamentary standing committee on finance and the inference was that these reports are not giving a clear picture now this gives a ground clearly to us to say that perhaps uh, you know this is the reason why the government decided to go ahead with something called as demonetization to actually find out uh, about the unaccounted wealth that the people of this country have which according to these three reports was actually within the country not not much had really gone out of the country so that's the sum and substance of the details of this report that times now has accessed and in a way it is justifying the big decision of demonetization that the government had taken in 2016 so, Hina, what, help me understand this. So, what you are saying that on basis of these three reports, the decision to the decision of demonetization was taken by the government, and that this is a report that has gone to the standing committee. But uh, they are saying that the estimates are not reliable. Is that the case? Well, yes. Uh, see, there were three different institutions which were asked to carry out studies to find out the total amount of black money that is there in the country or perhaps that has been sent from the country to other uh, safe havens across the world. This report that Times Now uh, has accessed the details of, this was submitted to the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance in 2017. And, uh, you know, this clearly had given us an idea that perhaps there was no clarity as to what right. exactly is the amount of black money that's there in the country so even government till date doesn't know what's the total amount of black money that's here even these institutions could not really figure out so this war on black money that have that we have been talking about so far we still don't know how the government is going to really fight it out because according to these three reports which the government was going to rely heavily on even their uh, you know a uh, final conclusion was uh, not satisfactory all right, Hina Gambhir, thank you for that uh, exclusive news break and thank you for putting it in perspective also.